Greetings and welcome to the broadcast. I'm your host, and we're going to study the Bible today using some free software called Takarda. Get your iPad out and get ready for your free lesson. To use the free Takarda Bible study software, simply tap the icon and up comes the Bible. To read the Bible, you can simply scroll up or down from either side to go for, to read the chapter. This is chapter 1. Go to chapter 2, we just go ahead and slide with either our finger, or you can use a stylus. To get back, we can either slide back, or right up here, there's a little arrow, and that's a back arrow, and a couple taps on that will send you back that way, which can be helpful. To navigate to different books of the Bible, up here we have Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and we have the Old Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Let's just go ahead and tap Matthew 24, that's a good one. And we can see the red letter edition is available. Of course, red letters, of course, for those of you who don't know, are the words of Jesus Christ, God's Son. The publisher or editor will put these in for us so we can see what he had to say about things. And it's very, very interesting. If you want to read in a night reading mode, you tap over here on this icon. There's a little moon icon. Hit the icon. And you can read in a night reading mode. And it also reflects the red letter version as well. This is great if you're doing a lot of night work and you don't want to uh, disturb somebody while you're reading. But to get off of the night mode, you simply tap this little gear. Go back to the sun mode instead. Now, for those of you older traditionalists who like the feel of a real book, you see this little book icon here? When you tap that, it lets you actually have pages that turn. These are pages that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, when you turn them back on the other side of the page, you can actually see what's coming up next. It's what they call an immersive experience. It immerses you in almost like a real book. Well, this is the end of the introduction. We'll have more to talk about and more to teach later on. Greetings, folks, and welcome to our first lesson on the Bible study software from Takarta. Let's just say you're going and you're reading your Bible. You want to highlight some verses. To do that, you simply tap the verse you're interested in. There's right over here, there's a little X. Let's try that again. Tap the verse you want, and there's a little X pops up. When you hit that X, a color palette pops up. Pink, yellow, blue, and green. The color that you touch will just instantly highlight that verse. Let's try that again. You see a verse you like. You tap it, you figure out a color that you want to associate with it, and there it is. Just that quick, just that easy. This can assist you greatly in going through the Bible. Now, what happens when you're over here somewhere, and uh, you want to get back to that, and you forget where you were at on those highlights? Well, how you access those highlights is right over here on the right, there's a little crayon. You tap this crayon icon, and here's down at the bottom is the same color palette. There's all the blue verses. There's all the yellow ones, there's all the pink ones, and there's all the green ones. Now, just so you know, these are sequentially, not how you put them in, but how they're found in the Bible. The Old Testament ones are found first, and later on in the Bible, later on in the Bible, and the end of the Bible. No matter how you put them in, they're sequentially here. Sometimes that throws people a little bit. That's a neat feature. What if you were doing some research, and a friend of yours wanted you to do like five of these things, like a one, and a two, and a three, four, or five? Would it do that? Let's tap it. It'll go ahead, and it'll be happy to do a, a, a sequence or a string of them. This will be important later on when we show you how to email these to a friend or a colleague. All right, now that we're done with that, as you're studying and reading here, sometimes things will come up, and let's just say you were given an assignment, and your assignment was to find the bread recipe in the Bible, and your boss says, if you can find that bread recipe, I couldn't find it, you can go home for the rest of the day and get paid. What would you do? Oh, and he says, by the way, you got to get it to me, get it to me, the recipe as well. He walks out the door. Well, you could go to the search function here and type in bread, wheat bread, and that would bring up Ezekiel's, whatever you type in up there. And right there is the recipe, Ezekiel 4. Some of the stuff is wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet. How are you going to get that to your boss? He's leaving. Well, you tap this right here. Now, people who are Mac products or Apple products, see that right there? That's called an iMessage bubble. When you tap that iMessage bubble, just that quick, that verse that you selected gets imported into here. You can type in the boss's email, hit the iMessage, rather, hit it, and it goes right to his cell phone, goes right to his laptop, goes right to his iPad. Bang, it pops up as a message. Just that quick, you go home early. That's pretty neat for some free software or somebody that's serious about maybe sharing some of their studies with someone else. Let's try that again. You see something you want, you tap it. You go over here to the plus sign. You can either tap it right here for the iMessage, or 
There's a, what's, how do you think that envelope is for? That's for people that don't have an Apple product. Maybe some of our friends who use Kindles, our friends who use uh, Samsung Galaxy tablets, anything. Right there. I don't want to tap that because I don't want to show my email to everyone. But right there, that little envelope will also allow you to freely email just the results of your research. Isn't that amazing for something that's free like that? Well, we could take a quick break, but before we do, let's go over and do one more thing. There's a folder here. There's uh, bookmarks, there's pens, there's all kinds of things. Let's find out what these do right now. Say you're going to experiment a little bit, and you find a verse here that you like. Well, let's get one that's not highlighted. And then you tap the plus sign, and here is like a little bookmark. Do you see that? I'm going to type that, and there it says has a note. So I'll put in here note, N-O-T-E, and I'll just put one, O-N-E, and I'll hit done. And see, it leaves that little note bookmark-like note feature right there. Now, I might forget where I was. I could be over here. Who knows where we're at? To get back to it, we go back here. This is some advanced teaching a little bit. And do you recognize that icon there? If we tap that, there it is. There's a bookmark we looked up. If we want to go here, we can go right back to the bookmark, and there's the bookmark. This allows you to get strings of thoughts, to get your all your thoughts together. Some of the biggest, hardest topics, or most personal or private ones people want to do on these things, is the word uh, divorce, murder, jail. Uh, there's a variety of certain words that people want to look up. They can do it right here in the privacy of their own home. See, what does the Bible say? When it says red ink and Jesus Christ said it, what did he mean? Look it up for yourself. It doesn't have to be any shame. You can just do any research on any topic you want. Let's go back here one more time. We've got the break. I'm going to hold the break off a little bit. Now, what is this thing here? This is called a note right here. That little kind of a, another kind of a crayon. If I hit the plus sign, there's a note right here. I'll put note, N-O-T-E, um, three, T-H-R-E-E. Just for nothing else better to write. Okay, I don't see anything wrong with that. Note 3, okay. Right here, if I want to select a scripture, if I hit this arrow right here, just that fast, it'll put that whole scripture in this note. Now, that's, you can play this uh, YouTube tape back if you'd like. I don't want to spend a lot of time here. Most of our students don't use advanced features like that, but it's there. You can go up here, you can play with stuff like that. That's not going to hurt you at all. You can make it bigger if you want, read your notes. If you want to, you can get back to your bookmarks. Uh, and then, of course, we know what those are right there. Those are margin notes. And these, what are those? That's our color palette down here. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. Then we'll come back to this little rascal right here. If you want to, we'll look at folders, having to make folders, keep some things in folders for some deeper studies. This has been the free teaching for McEisencraft. We'll be back in a bit. Okay, folks, we're back from our quick breather. Uh, we were talking about over here folders, if you're interested in that. First of all, to get rid of things, I'll just go ahead and strike from right to left and hit the delete button. Wipe or strike from right to left, however fast you want to do it. Get rid of all this stuff. It's all gone. Now, here's the folder. You tap the folder, and it says the plus sign. You hit the plus sign, and you say, I want to have a new folder. And that, what do you want to call the folder? Let's call it, uh, you guys, Ticarta, T-E-C-A-R-T-A. -E That's the name of this free software these people have. Save. There's the folder right there. You can put stuff in it later on. We won't spend a lot of time right now, but that's one thing you can do. What if you're back here like this and it says add, and you want to put a note instead of a folder? You say, I, that bread was good. B-R-E-A, bread was good. Gee, oh, so you tried the recipe. There's a lot of great recipes in the Bible, not just do's and don'ts. There's some great stuff. Okay, well, there it is. I'm not so sure about that. It puts it down here in the note. It puts the date you took the note and has bread is good. You can see it just that easy. This is for a creative sort of mindset, a person that wants to do some deep study and take some notes on the side, or maybe someone that's sharing this software. They have to share an iPad or an iPod or a Kindle uh, reader or uh, a Samsung Galaxy, whatever kind of a tablet, and they can sh go over here. They can each assign themselves some different colors. Each one could take one or two of the colors. They could have some different folders and some different notes. Folks, I hope this helps you. Now, what the whole thing of this is, these are free lessons, free tutorials we put out. McIsencraft puts them out. Doesn't cost you anything. Uh, probably never will. 
lets you just kind of get a sense that you really can read the Bible cover to cover at least once before you die. It's not that hard. Did you know that there's more words in a Sunday newspaper in a large city uh, than there is in the Bible? Now, I'm talking about the big Sunday newspaper. That includes the ads and everything. You know, if someone were to say to you, could you read all that for $25,000, read the Sunday paper, every word? Sure. How long would it take? Oh, I could do it in a couple of weeks, probably. All right. However, some people become kind of the enormity of the Bible reading. They say, oh, I couldn't do that. I'd get a headache. I'd get nervous. It stresses me out. How about for $25,000? Same, same amount of words. You might give that some thought. There's some great information here. Well, anyway, take care. Best to you. And uh, like the Bible says, pray to receive Jesus. Bye for now.